Welcome back to the channel, guys. Jim Majors 13 here with another video. Got a fun one for you today. I decided to kind of go in line with that review I did on my first ever Jim Jets model that I got. So I kind of thought I'd keep in line with that and make a video in terms of the first wide body aircraft that I purchased. And uh, it brings back the feels getting this box out because it's all dusty and whatnot. I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the video, but it's definitely dusty, a little bit beat up, but it's definitely showed it's, uh, it's, it's a trooper. It's been in the collection since 2008. And the funny thing was, is I had it between when I was getting it that summer. I know it was the summer because I started getting the planes in, in the springtime. But anyways, I remember using some birthday money and it was between this KLM 777-300 and it was between that and the KLM Sky Team 777 um, model. And I never got the Sky Team, which I wish I did, but this is what I got. And this was the first one I, you know, purchased. And for those of you, because, you know, I like to talk a little bit just to explain the story a little bit, just help set the situation and the whole scene up in general. But uh, for those that uh, know or don't know my collection style, for the beginning of my years, I always got model airplanes based off of what I liked. So this was a plane I liked. I saved or used my birthday money and got it. Um, you know, my college years, I've been kind of just buying planes on the needs of my model airports that I do. And I'm trying to get back into that. So you know, that's kind of what I liked in the old days. I kind of just bought planes that I liked. And if you've seen a lot of the airport updates I had, uh, I would have everything Charlotte based routes, but then I would have all these European airlines. Cause I kind of liked the aspect of having different planes, but, um, that's why I got the KLM. I liked it. I love the Royal blue. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at the box here. Cause it is kind of funny to look back to see the, see how much everything has changed. So, you know, nothing, you know, too drastic, but, uh, you'll definitely notice a little bit different inside here here's the here's the og stuff right here um yeah so that's what it used to look like i know now it's a cleaned up and looks a lot more neater but honestly for 2008 being that's in 2020 this box actually held up pretty nice i'm not gonna lie as you can see here's the back of it and then looking down here sorry 2008 so it's a it's an og model of my collection that's no doubt about that um really yeah i love these planes guys i love getting these random planes it's always good getting stuff that you know like i mentioned in the beginning of the video i like buying planes based off of what i actually like and being in school so much i had to kind of be careful with my money and whatnot um, just because you know i don't work as much with some of the class schedules i've had and all that you know all that baloney um but you know now being back home and you know post-college i'm definitely going to get back into the swings of just getting planes that i actually like you know not necessarily for my model airports but this is how I used to do it. So here's the KLM 777-300, a beautiful airplane. Um, I did see this plane a lot in, um, what's it call it? Atlanta, I saw it all the time in Atlanta. Um, real nice. So we'll start with the front here, as we always do, front or back, when, you know, we'll get it done. Um, you got the uh, Sky Team logo there, and then Air France KLM. This was, you know, you gotta remember this was 2008, so they, you know, when they merged over together, um, you know, that little description or detail used to be you know, non-existent, but when they did merge together, it definitely came across. Now, just something to point out with something, uh, their new library kind of has a little bit of dip with the trimming, so it's not as straightforward line anymore. Um, this one is, you know, their old library per se. Uh, I still need to get a new, an updated version of that. I haven't done that yet, but um, KLM's a really nice airline. No, I, you know, how can you say that if you've never flown on them? Just from the reviews I've seen, it seemed like a really good airline. They have a great paint scheme. Um, their operation in Amsterdam is very impressive. It seems to the people that I know that have connected through their, you know, family members, family, friends, and all that stuff, the ones that have connected in Amsterdam say it's a, a lovely facility to trans, you know, to transfer through. So, you know, hope to check it out someday. I know Delta has a really nice operation out of there as well. I think they got about, you know, in peak season, maybe about 22 flights, um, from the, from the U S mainland. So a nice operation on Delta's behalf, which is, you know, a major partner of KLM, but yeah, so kind of transitioning to the back of the plane, uh, we got the uh, registration again, which is um, uh, Papa, uh, Hotel, Bravo, uh, Victor, and Alpha. Almost, I had to, <laughs> had to remember a couple of those letters there. I couldn't honestly, it's been a while since I've seen those ones. Um, but yeah, the, you know, library, nothing has really has changed. It's, you know, pretty consistent. I love their royal blue colors. Um, then you got the Boeing 777 on there, the Flying Dutchman, I'd love to see that. And... If I miss it, the engine has the KLM wording on there as well. And then I will turn the attention to the belly of the plane. Can't remember if there's anything going on down here. I thought it was pretty standard. Yeah, pretty standard. And, you know, you can tell so many differences. I don't really have an updated 777 model in terms of one with all the fancy antennas and stuff and all that all that good stuff, I guess. 
But this was the OG days of model airplane collecting to me. This was the planes were reasonably priced. The model airplanes always came out nice. Um, I never had one issue of a model airplane in terms of take that back. I had one issue. I don't know if anybody remembers the Portland Timbers Alaska 737 700, but that plane was it literally just crumbled. Like I literally have pieces of it in crumbles. I can't remember what the reason was behind it, but the one I have, the the wings would literally just snap off. Like you could literally just barely press on them and they'll break. But besides that, besides that plane, uh, between you know 2008 till 2016 ish, um, I never had a single problem with Gemini jets. You know, it's unfortunate that I have to rant about them. I mean, I don't like to rant about it. it's it's fun because I like to sh voice my opinions and concerns over them. Um, but you know, the OG days of collecting, guys, it's it's a shame that we're not back to simple times in terms of just pl planes like this. You know, the fancy antennas are, are great and everything, the rolling landing gears. But, you know, the more pieces you add to the plane, the more the functions you're trying to add to it, the more stuff can go wrong. You know what I mean? So I just wish we could go back to the simple times where it was just this. It was just the plane. Everything looks perfect. You know, no antennas, no rolling landing gears, and everything came out nice. Um, that's just my two cents. Don't get me wrong. Today's stuff looks actually really good if it's done right. Um, the best example would be anything NG Models makes, that's done right. That's fine. Whatever whatever they do, that's good. I appreciate that. But just as a as a whole, you know, if it, you know, I'd rather have this than, you know, wings falling off, triple seven engines on an A321. Like, get out of here, man. That's garbage. Um, but anyways, had to, had to voice that out because it was on my mind since we're reviewing a 2008 model airplane and we're in 2020 now. So I had to voice that out. Hope you guys enjoy this quick little review here. I know I rambled on, but uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.